What is going on guys? Welcome to episode 2 of my Manchester United 2003-04 database save in FM19. If you're excited for this series off that first episode to get into the first game of the season now, which is going to be the charity shield we're going to play. And if you enjoy the episode, of course, make sure you leave a big like on the video. I'm really excited to go deep into this. There's one thing we'll just focus on a little bit here at the start of the video. I was taking a scout um, and putting players on the short list. Uh, some players that signed for United. Wayne Rooney, I did try and sign, but he doesn't want to join Man United just yet because uh, he recently signed a new contract at Everton. So we're going to have to wait on Rooney for a bit. Uh, if not, if that wasn't the case, I would have signed him. And we did sign one player, but... Yeah, there's a few of those, and other ones like Leo Messi, it's so interesting, his, he would be a useful signing, so interesting to take a look at his uh, recommendation, and there's a few others, take a look at Cherno Samba as well, 63, we know he develops good in championship manager, <laughs> so yeah, way back then, so yeah, it'll be very interesting, uh, Matty Fernandez. Yeah, I first knew about him around FM08, uh, he was really, really good. Not when he was this young, but before then, a few years before. Uh, so it was interesting. He doesn't have the greatest report there, but could still have some decent potential. Uh, there's a lot. Cesc Fabregas. It's it's a great year. There's so many of these young talents <laughs> that became into good players. And you look at him there, it doesn't look too fantastic, hey? But anyway, we are going to first go into the first move we made. We sent out some players on loan. There's Kieran Richardson actually seems to have all right potential but we did sign as you may tell by the thumbnail Nemanja Vidic we signed at 21 years of age he's only 5 million we didn't pay too much only 4.3 and he seems to have some decent development in him he's very well suited to Premier League football so yeah with that little bit more potential he can grow in I thought yeah be realistic as well and at his age I think yeah has really strong attributes really strong attributes there. So he's the only signing I made so far. Again, we didn't want to make too many. We did, especially players that didn't play for Man United, but yeah, I wanted to play with this team. I thought signing Vidic would be all right if we bring in Rudy or we brought in Rooney as well. That would be all right. Let me know at some point when he's interested in those older other players that signed for Man United in future seasons but anyway we are going to head straight into this one against Chelsea initially I said we we're going to go 4-4-2 and I had to change it up here actually to a 4-2-3-1 so it still says 4-4-2 I changed that but I think I will go back to 4-4-2 when we can but unfortunately it was so disappointing it wasn't long ago as well Solskjaer uh, he picked up an injury, was for three months, and now it's in between six weeks and two months. That was very annoying. Gary Neville did as well, so we're still carrying on the injury troubles in FM19, but hey, it's all part of the challenge. So this is this is the line that we'll go with. Uh, Nemanja Vidic, he just makes the bench because Wes Brown's still happy with him. So yeah, Silvestre played left back. I was thinking maybe another one was Evra. Just check him for a second, Patrice Evra. He actually, he looks pretty decent. He's at Monaco. So, yeah, he's another one. Do you think we can bring in? I think he would almost come in as the starting left back. Definitely attacking uh, more than Sylvester. He's he's all right. He's all right. Very strong. And he's quick. He's still, he's still a very good player as well. We cannot uh, deny that and cannot forget that as well. So, Cristiano Ronaldo excited him uh, for him to get going. But let's head into the first match. Uh, the first match of this series is in the Charity Shield. We're not going to get into the league in this episode. Like I said, we'll play a few games. Well, we need to play a few games off camera. I don't want to be one like 100% less play uh, because, yeah, we want it to progress a bit and see how we go. But, yeah, if you'd like to see this more than one season, let me know if the support is there for sure. So, yeah, make sure you leave a like on the video. But, yeah, Chelsea, you know, this is the season they had the money where Chelsea was bought by Abramovich. So this is when, uh, so they they still brought in more players after this season, but it's still yeah very very strong. 
as a strong side. But anyway, we're not going to going to go analyze every single player. We're just going to go with a team talk, though. We'll say passionately the fans. Yeah, let's do it for the fans, lads. Let's do it for the fans. It's just <laughs> oh, I was feeling this way in in just the first episode recording this. Oh, it's such a surreal feeling. Like you got a Man United side of Van Nistelrooy, Ryan Giggs, Scholes, Ronaldo, Roy Keane, Nicky Butt in there. We put a Rio Ferdinand, younger man, guys. Tim Howard be playing goals for this one again. You could say we could start Bartes. Howard, again, was suggested to sign Van der Sar as well. Let me know what you do, because they're similar. We've got Roy Carroll there, so there's <laughs> multiple names, but let me know if you re- if you reckon we can go for Van der Sar. But we've got two players that can contend for a start, to be the starting keeper in Howard and Fabian Bartes. So, yeah, let me know what we should do on that front. Bring in Van der Sar, and don't forget, of course, uh, David De Gea wouldn't even be in this save, so we might have a little bit of a change-up a little bit of a change up here. Uh, we just play with the key highlights. I prefer to play with that personally as well. Uh, replay camera, I like to have it behind the goal. And of course, guys, make sure you check out my stream as well. Link will be in the description uh, of, of that. Make sure, yeah, make sure you go check it out. It's going pretty well. But yeah, make sure you go follow so you know when I'm streaming. Anyway, match speed during the highlights. I think that's where I have it. And then, yeah, between highlights, make it very, very fast. Just so we can, yeah, speed. And the camera zoom. The camera height. No, we're just going to have to leave. We can't really alter that. Uh, this should be fine anyway. This should be fine anyway. So, yes, let's go. Let's go and see. See how we're going to... I have no idea how we're going to start here with Man United and this older older team, older players. You don't know how they're going to go. We don't know how we're going to go. So, Nicky Butt here. Okay, that's a good clearance. And now Ryan Giggs. There was the only thing I was wondering how they look how they'll look. There's a couple of bald heads there, but Nicky Butt, you know, he's a bald head, but he scores. And there's another one in Paul Scholes. <laughs> uh, yeah, there looks to be quite a few, so uh, just maybe that might be the only thing, that bu- only thing to keep in mind. Like I said, accurate with Nicky Butt, but it feels like almost every single player has a bald head. Not every single player, but most. <laughs> most there, because obviously when this was created, yeah, the player's had to be created and that kind of stuff. So that's how they may be. Um, That would be the only thing, but Veron, how about that? Uh, Veron scores against Manchester United. What a free kick. What a free kick. That was absolutely amazing. (laughs) You can't doubt that. So what a start, just this game as a whole. Early goals. Early goals right there. Central midfielders scoring. So, yeah, he's pulling all the strings. uh, All the strings in midfield. Veron. So, yeah, 1-1 it is. 1-1 it is at the moment. Ronaldo. Yeah, he's off the tackles, lad. You don't want to get sent off. You don't want to get sent off. Cristiano. This is going to be interesting how it's going to play out. So, we go assertively, I reckon. And far from please, what we saw from this team. So, we can fire them up. I don't think it was a disappointing half that we just played out right there was more just the fact uh, to fire the lads up fire them up to go on to get a winner so Phil Neville keen to skulls look identical off that <laughs> oh come on get across in who's gonna fall to now it's keen but keen they're passing to each other look at this and now it's skulls I feel we can contrive I'm happy like we know you're the play oh my god that was almost Oh, that was almost a lucky goal, and look how close that is. Pretty close, but no goal, no goal. Let's say get creative. I feel, yeah, as I was going to say, I feel we can have the better over them. But here, Ronaldo, see, (laughs) that doesn't look like Ronaldo, but we take those throw-in goals, take the throw-in, and we score from that. So let me know. Let me know. Obviously, I can't edit that myself, like the player faces or their hair. And, yeah, so let me know. Uh, I'm like I was gonna say, oh, play in 2D, then you won't tell. But I'm sure you guys prefer to play in 3D than 2D. <laughs> Maybe let me know in the comments what I should do. And yeah, we've got a bit of a we've got a bit of a tactic there with the throw-ins. But unfortunately, that time it was wasted. Uh, thinking about some substitutions now. I want yeah, Ronaldo. I guess Ronaldo's got an assist, but I want to see him do a little bit more. Nicky Butts. Let's maybe bring on Fletcher. 
deep-lying playmaker on support, and then we'll change Keane to a ball-winning mid. How about... Or central midfielder on defend duty. But yeah, Fletcher only 19, still very, very young. Uh, some really high attributes, though. Uh, really high s certain specific ones, but we will make that substitution. You can see Sylvester there. Uh, John O'Shea, he can come on. They both can come on and play left back. Maybe not as well, John O'Shea, but he's still he's still accomplished there. Hopefully, he can play that role. Maybe just full back, full back on defend. We'll change that. We've got a two-one lead. Hopefully, we can hold on to this. Maybe we'll go positive. Yeah, positively, and say tighten up. Say tighten up. So yeah, it's not a four-four-two at the moment because of the injury to Solskjaer, but yeah, we will want to. We want to change that, and we go so, so close. Not sure we can go closer than that without scoring. It's pretty good effort. And again, that was a wasted one. We could have another sub just to freshen up. Rio Ferdinand, who's on a yellow card. Let's bring on Vidic. Just get some game time, get some minutes into Vidic. Just play him central defender on defend there. And I like to think we'll be able to hold on right now. This will be a nice way to kick things off. Not the biggest competition to win or anything. But, hey, it's better to win than lose in the charity shield, most definitely. They have little celebrations. It's nothing to take too serious. But Ronaldo, because that definitely doesn't look like Ronaldo. And Skulls almost scoring. Oh, Glenn Johnson's a wonder kid in this game. How about that? And there we go. We take the win. And there's a bit of the celebration. There's a celebration there. I told you <laughs> there'll be celebration still for the charity shield. So, yeah, happy about that. We're just l watching, like, majority bold players <laughs> bolt. Uh, so let me know. Yeah, let me know what you would do about that. I'm still going to say, yeah, happy with the performances. Enjoy the success. But once more, it's nothing to get too hyped up about. So, yeah, happy with that win. Veron, he was a key player, though. He was a key player. Yeah, take a look. Obviously, signed from Manchester United, as we know. He was. A, I actually liked him from my memory. Obviously, I was young. Not a lot of thought process as a kid, but I thought he was... Yeah, I always liked him. Thought he was a great player. And those attributes, yeah, he's, looks fantastic. So, another, another charity shield win. Uh, for Man United, we take that. So, guys, we are going to leave it there. Basically, yeah, we played our game, showed you transfer, we brought in Vidic, and we're going to play some games off camera now. Maybe I'll do Champions League, and then we'll do two games an episode. Maybe we'll do a Premier League one. Maybe I could sneak in Champions League game and one against Liverpool as well. Going to be very interesting. But, as I said, if you want to see this as a regular series, basically as a regular series, and not just like a one-off video like I did, uh, like going through this database and everything like that. You want to see it a proper series, make sure you leave the like on the video, share it with your friends that like Football Manager and you think they'll like this database and want to try it for themselves. Yeah, I would greatly appreciate that, and I'll see you guys in the very next one.